Hi guys, this is my La Muerte from the Film the Book of Life look. Start off by blocking out your eyebrows with a craft glue stick and a palette knife. Moisturise and prime your face. And get naked because we're going to paint a dress on later. I'm painting my beard and moustache area in white Mayron face paint with a foundation brush. Drawing on some Spider-Man style eyes, so you want them to kind of go up towards the temples. Fill in the rest of your face in white. Grab your beauty blender and blend all the white so it's nice and smooth and we look less like we've been hit in the face with a cream pie. Mayron Berry Red and a detail brush or a fine paintbrush outline the eye shape and you want the line to go thicker in the middle and tail out towards the corners. Take Mayron Black and a detail brush and line inside of that red outline. Again you want it to be thicker in the middle and tail out towards the edges. For the top line you want to give your eyes a bit of shape so think reverse winged eyeliner. Prime your eyes. I'm going ham on the primer. No one needs this much primer on their eyes. For the eyes I'm using Want It All, Cross the Line and Do It For Me from the I Heart Sin palette by Makeup Revolution and I'm just doing a giant halo. So the whole eyelid is covered in light blue up to the brow, dark blue for everything else blend them together and then put a little bit of white in the centre of your eyelid. Line your eyes with black gel liner and try and make the wing match that reverse wing that you've done on the outside. This is the moment I realise my month old gel liner has gone dry and nasty. So if anyone's got recommendations for a decent gel liner, please let me know in the comments. For the bottom of the eye, I'm just lining a third on the outer corner and a third on the inner corner. Grab a white eye pencil and line your waterline. With a detail brush and Mayron Berry Red, start drawing the petals around the eye shape. I'm using Mayron's Mango and Orange Face Paints and alternating the colours in the petals. I'm using a lipstick brush and kind of patting it into the spaces because you don't want to smudge the red if you can help it. If you do, you can just tidy it up afterwards with a detail brush and some more of the red. Take the detail brush and red berry and just add dots into each petal and along the black lines. Then draw a cross in the centre of your forehead with lines on the ends of the lines of the cross. Then draw a heart above the cross. I find hearts easiest to do by drawing a straight line going down, a dot either side and then joining those dots up to the bottom of the line. Add a upside down triangle to the top of the heart and draw some heart teardrops on the cheeks and some dots down the nose. La Muerte has these lines coming out of the heart. So add those, it kind of looks like blood is exploding out of the heart. Nice. With a 
a detail brush and Mayron Black, draw on the no shape and fill it in. Then I'm drawing a flower on my chin in Mango from Mayron. Exploding hearts weren't enough, so now we're going to add some fire coming out of it. La Muerte has this swirly pattern going on on her forehead. So you can either look at a reference picture and try and copy it, which is what I'm doing, or you can just freestyle a load of swirls across your head. She's got the same kind of swirly pattern going on across her jaw and cheeks, so add that in. Just when you're painting the swirls, try and do it in one movement so the lines look really smooth. I'm using Vamp by Makeup Revolution to line my lips and Lady to fill them in and adding just a little bit of white face paint to ombre them and now I'm using a detail brush and Mayron Black to draw the lines. Add swirls to your neck and grab a rose because I think I'm done but I've forgotten something. Nice try but that's not it. Beautiful. That's it. Lashes. As if La Muerte would be caught dead. Is she dead? Is she? You could stop there and just wear a red dress, but I'm going to paint mine on. So first I'm filling out the neck to make a V-neck with the Mayron white and blending it into the rest of the neck then using Mayron's Red Berry to cover the rest of my chest and shoulders for the dress. Then I'm taking Red by Mayron, which is more of a burgundy colour, to do the pattern on the dress, and a matte black eyeshadow to go along the edges of the dress and just blending it into the white to create a bit of shadow. I'm also using the black shadow to create the creases and wrinkles in the fabric and the seams. Using the burgundy to make patterns on the arms and then just going back with blacks and dark reds and whites to add extra shading. And this time it really is done. Yay! Thanks for watching! <laughs>